Hey guys, so today I have my July favorites for you. Better late than never, right? Um, I seriously can't believe we're into August and before you know it, it's going to be September, which is pretty exciting. I mean, it kind of makes me sad that I know winter's coming because I really don't like driving in snow, but I love fall, everything about it. It's just one of my, my favorite season. Pumpkin everything and leaves and just the fresh air. I just love everything about fall. So that is exciting. Well, it's a little bit sad that summer is almost over, but this summer has been a lot better so far than I thought it would as far as temperature. Because um, last summer, with all the storms that we had and everything, and just the high heat and humidity, and we lost power a few times from the storms, and so then obviously it's super, super hot and sticky even in the house. Um, but yeah, this summer we haven't had like several consecutive days of like 90 degree temperatures, so it's actually been kind of mild. So I really love that hope I don't jinx myself um but yeah so let's just jump right into my favorites um first of all I have been absolutely loving this lotion since I got it a few weeks ago going through it like crazy um it is the hemp's um creamy creamy papaya and shea herbal body moisturizer I've heard people talk about these several times before but I had never tried them for myself and this scent is just amazing. It's perfect for summer. It just smells so good, but it's not too strong. It's just like the perfect amount of scent so that it's refreshing, yet it does, it's not gonna clash with like your perfume or anything. It's just perfect. Um, absorbs quickly, feels great, moisturizing. Can't say enough good, enough, can't say enough good about it. Uh, this scent is only available at Ulta. So yeah, and I got it when it was on sale for $16.99 and then I used my $3.50 off coupon. So yeah, been really loving that. I believe it's normally around $26-ish, $26, uh, I can't remember. But yeah, so try to get on sale and use your coupon. I know they have some of these at Sally's too, but I'm not sure how much they are. And then for conditioner, um, I absolutely love this conditioner. It detangles my hair like nothing else. And that's why I bought it when they had the leader sale. I read reviews online and people said they loved this for detangling because my hair gets super, super tangly. And this has just been amazing. It's the Chi Magnified Volume Conditioner. Um, I did also later go back and get the Smooth Sexy Hair Conditioner. But that one's a bit thinner than I prefer, so I've kind of been mixing these those two together. But so I definitely prefer this one. Absolutely love it. And then for primer this month, um, I've been loving my Miracle Skin Transformer. Um, using this under almost everything. And then this sample of Clinique Super Primer, I've been really liking. Actually, before I had said I wasn't so sure about it and didn't really like it, but now I actually do. But I've been getting a bunch of like little bumps, so I don't know if this had anything to do with that. So I'm kind of like iffy about actually buying it. So yeah, I'm still not sure, but I think it works pretty well. And then for foundation this month, um, I've been loving my Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation in Light Medium, um, which I am trying to use this up but I do love it. And then the CoverGirl Outlast in 842 Medium Beige. I've just been using both of these over my Miracle Skin Transformer. Both work really well and last great throughout the day. And then um, I raved about these in my haul that I posted recently from Ulta, my points redeem, and when I used my coupon. Uh, so I won't go up too much I won't go on too much about these, um, but I've been really loving them, so I just wanted to give them a mention. 
the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness Neutralizing Correcting Cream. I've been still been using this almost every day and absolutely love it. Then the It Cosmetics Vitality Glow Anti-Aging Matte Bronzer. Love it. Oh, maybe I'll link my haul down below so you can hear more about them if you want to because these are just amazing. And it's the Amazing Cosmetics Blush in Pink Chocolate. That's what I'm wearing today. Love, 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 love. And then um, I also recently got the MAC Shaping Powder in Emphasize. I've been wanting this for so, so long because Jaclyn Hill raves about it and it looks amazing on her. She uses it to set her under eye concealer, which for me, having super oily skin and huge pores right here, I found it emphasized those pores a little bit too much because of the fine shimmer in it. So what I've been doing instead is just, I'll still go ahead and set my under eyes with my MAC Prep and Prime CC powder and then go in with this powder like after bronzer and blush and it kind of gives a slight highlight and just brightens under eyes and I just love it it's amazing so yeah love that and then um, I cannot remember who it was now but I was watching someone a few days ago and they mentioned that they heard that the wands for the L'Oreal mascaras are kind of interchangeable so I had the Miss Manga mascara which I the, I just could not give that wand to work for me I, just, I don't know I just can't do the whole flexible wand I don't think but the formula was good and I had heard that the formula was really great for not flaking or anything so and I love the wand of my L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. So I just switched them and I've been using the, since my Butterfly Mascara was getting low anyway, and I've been using the Butterfly Wand with the Miss Manga formula. So, and it works fantastic. So if you have like a, a L'Oreal Mascara that you prefer the wand for, you could try that and it works great. I've been loving it. Um, and I do think the Miss Manga formula flakes less than the Butterfly formula. So yeah, really great idea. Don't know why I didn't think of that before, but I absolutely love it. And again, it's using the Butterfly wand with the Miss Manga or any other L'Oreal mascara that has those same like shaped tubes. So yeah, really, really love that. Um, and then for skin this month, I have been really trying to baby my skin because it was getting really kind of irritated, flaky, dry, but then super, still getting super oily throughout the day. And I think part of that was due to my Candida cleanse because some symptoms of Candida can be like acne and flaky skin. So as I was going through the cleanse, I think that kind of like made my skin a little bit worse. So I went back to my Shaytara Organics Tamanu Oil and my Cebu Beauty Sea Buckthorn Seed Oil. And both of these have really funky smells and colors. So if you're not into that, you might not like these, but this is a fantastic oil for, you know, acne, anti-aging, and I keep hearing about how great the Cebu oil is for acne, but I had never really used it consistently enough to notice a difference. So I've finally been using that a lot more and I really love, love it. And now that it's almost gone, like I only have a teeny bit left, I'm even more sad that I accidentally tipped this over and spilled some when I first got it. So it didn't last as long as it should have. Um, so I did want to order more of this really soon, maybe get the bigger bottle because you get more for your money that way. And the Shaytara, the Tam Shaytara Organics Tamanu Oil, I do really like. When you first put this one on, it does feel kind of thick, even if you just throw it between your hands and then pat, pat it on. But it do doesn't stay that way for very long. It absorbs um, pretty well. And a while ago, this kind of stopped coming out really through the pump. I don't know what happened, but now I just kind of take out 
the pump and like just wipe it onto my hand and then put it on that way. Um, but as you can see, it is a really thick, um, kind of greenish oil. But yeah, that's pure Tammany oil from Shatera Organics. And I really like both of these. So, and again, Tammany oil does have a really funky smell, but I mean, it's not like you can smell it for the rest of the night after you put it on. It's not, you know, it's not too bad. And your skin is worth it, right? So, yeah. I've been really loving those. And then for lips, I recently have been using this a little bit more often. And it's my Viva Glam 5 lipstick by MAC. That's what I have on right now. It is kind of a go with everything kind of lipstick. It is a luster, so it does have that shiny finish. And it does have some shimmer to it. But it does feel like pretty smooth. It's not like you can you know, feel a lot of it, but yeah, I've been loving MAC Viva Glam 5. And that is it already. Um, again, I breezed through those It Cosmetics and the Amazing Cosmetics blush really quickly, but I went on and on about them in my haul since I had already been using them a little bit. So I'll link that haul down below. And yeah, so... That is it for my favorites. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. For some reason, Christmas songs have been in my head. Probably because we're going to start practicing for the Christmas cantata play really soon for church. I've been thinking about... Where are you, Christmas? Why can't I find you? Why have you gone away? I should listen to it again. But then I'm probably seeing it way too much. Where is the laughter you used to bring me? Yeah. Seems really dark all of a sudden. Where did the sun go? The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Yeah.